Welcome back my comrades, I am Victor Barasov and today I am doing a Fallout 4 Creation Club mod and this one's been out for a little bit now and this one is called the Exo 2 Power Armor. It's basically a power armor, what represents the Enclave and the rest. It's got a small quest to go with it and it tells the story of the remnants of the Enclave. And I'm going to do a walkthrough and show you how I get this one guys. So give me a minute to set up and we'll jump right into game and I'll show you how I get it. See you in a few seconds. Right guys, we are now back in game and like I said in the intro guys, we are going to be doing the Fallout 4 uh, quest, what is called Speak of the Devil, what is part of the XO 2 Power Armor quest and today we have good old Nate in his Soviet uniform and we have uh, Dogmeat in his Russian uniform because we are part of the Russian, the new Russian Federation as you may see in a few gameplays by now. So, we're going to take a swim across the lake and head to the Watts Electronic Building. And lucky enough, we're not going to get a radiator or anything because we're wearing protective clothing. Thanks to the glorious Ru Russian Federation Force, what remains. As you can see, good old combat armour and gas mask in the rest. The gas mask and helmet is on Nexus, but the other uniform is not on Nexus. But... So this is where we have to go off to first, and if you somehow hear, or you're more than likely can hear it actually, um, the gun battle going on in the background, that's part of the robot DLC, because I haven't done that quest yet, because this is a new game, so yeah, that, so I'll have to take care of them later on. And thank you Nate for pushing me and dogging me down here. And if I remember correctly, if I do something in here, all these robots come alive and attack me. So let's just blast all these to death. They're just useless American piece of um, rubbish. You know. Not think like a good old technology they have in the year 5000. You know. Good old time travelling. Whew you should see the robots light years ahead of this. What universe man. It's great time travelling from place to place. Damn. Didn't mean to do that. Let's just shoot the lock off. Easier than lock picking you know. Ah some more of these rubbish general atomics. Rubbish robots. Don't really hold up well, you see what I mean, man? My trusty old AK from 1945 and 1955 is all good. And look, here's another one. Bang. He's dead. And here it is. The Black Devil. Oh, it looks quite interesting. Oh, and this is some other model. What the? What's this bro? I've never been in here before. Toy Mechanist's Remote. Examine. You know, I didn't mean to get out my good old AK. Control your very old miniature army with the Mechanist robot uses. Oh, so this is part of the Mechanist DLC. I never realised this was here, guys, actually. <laughs> but oh well. Let's get my... Alright. Concussion's note. It seems like we've been fighting off raiders since I moved back home. Bastards are like roaches. You kill one and ten crawl out of the cracks. I asked Pa how he dealt with them. And he said he didn't have to back in the day. There was this guy, they called him the Black Devil, and he made it his mission to drive all the raiders out of the Commonwealth. Whenever you need his help, you just tuned on your raid to his station, and there he'll be. So naturally, I want to know what happened to him. Pal said he did know about a year ago the radio went static, and it's been radar haven ever since. But last week, I was at the old Watts building for scrap and came across this display that mentioned the devil by the name. There were also a couple of hull tips which I could make heads or tails of so I asked my cousin Richie for help because he's good at this stuff. He thinks the tips have music in them our way to summon the devil. The blur on one of the hull tips mentions two radio stations AM 810 and V. Try to the old relay towers with the same numbers. Just north of here, maybe we can use it to send up some music back to the station. Always, I'm leaving this note just in case. I'm probably being paranoid, but I get the feeling I've been followed. Still, my hunch is right, and for some reason we don't make it. Someone has to finish what we started in the Commonwealth. Okay. I can't tell if it's rubbish radio. Can I shoot it? No. Okay, Black Devil Part 1. Let's read. To the Devil Commute. Inducing the Black Devil. By day, he's a hardware engineer, cleaning toilets and the, at the lower police station. By night, he's a crime-fighting superhero. He had to uphold our core values of truth, tax, loopholes, and the principles of free market. 
Working with the US government, the Black Devil guaranteed his superhuman strength by ma merging his body with the consumer's code in ink of founding fathers. He hunts down communists with gusto known only to the devil himself. So when communists invade your neighborhood, just turn your dial to what's brand new radio, AM 810 or FM 97. Make sure to turn the dial all the way up, or when he plays the American music, the Black Devil recognizes you as a true patriot. Come to the rescue. Music. As a true patriot, the Black Devil loves all songs that celebrate America, but only but of the large illustrations catalogued three in particular describe itself. The Bal Hymn of the Poet is the song that foretells the judgment of the word, for when the Red Army hears its melody, the beating of the soldiers will crumble. Okay. The Stars and Stripes, that one's quite obvious. If you want to read the rest of this, guys, you can. But this, uh, I'm going to speak here just to reading this. This kind of reminds me of the Enclave music. I know this is about the Enclave, but he's actually done a pretty good job at getting these memorised by heart, what the Enclave plays. But anyway. So, right, the next one is, last, Lastly, America, the beauty. Beautiful, not much more needs to be said about the timeless beauty for the mountains. Beauty is when the fight for stars is break. This is when these songs have been chosen as the Black Devil's signature music, as a soldier, warrior, and god for the American. When he hears this play of music, he will answer your call. So, yeah, this is pretty accurate to what the Enclave Radio is, guys. And this is, um, well, what can I say? It's just basically the original Enclave music by the looks of it. The Enclave music I do like, but of course, it, guys, it does get repetitive after a very long time of listening to it. In Fall Free, you can only listen to it for so long before you go totally start crazy of listening to it. So let's head this way if my PC frames can handle it. And all I can hear is gun battles and fighting was not good. And there's a nuke. That's going to affect my PC. Uh, can we run? Oh, I might have to fight this fight. Yep, I'm going to have to fight it. Okay, then. Let's just kill all these robots and ignore this quest until later on. Or until I can do it in my free time. I don't really do the main quest anymore because I've done it so many times now. I'm just trying to avoid it. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, let's just go. Right. Don't want to shoot A down in the back. That would be bad. Let's blow this robot's head off instead. Yep, you're dead. I do apologize about my frame rate, guys. I know why it's doing this. I'm going to have to get a bit further out the city to fix it. There's a few times, if you go into the city now and then, my game will just, like, start dropping frames and stuff like that. But this foliage mod doesn't help either. It actually affects a few areas, but also it doesn't help when I've got fog on the game. Fog always makes my graphics card scream for some strange reason. But anyway, I can easily disable that. Well, manipulation, weather, clear. If you're wondering guys, I always use the cheat terminal or console commands. It's always kind of an easier way of them me dying or trying to struggle with this. So my frames should go back to normal in a few seconds. I'll just give out a few seconds to stand still. Frames are going back up. Yep, that's good. So let's head off into the water. Ooh. Nope, they just dropped again. <laughs> oh, my PC loves to be fun. But don't worry, guys. I think we'll be fixed by hopefully next year. Because I have not got enough for my... Oh, God, that's a monster. I just ran straight into a monster. Hold on. Oh. Guys, I have been saving up for a new graphics card. What I, When I get it, I will put on Twitter and tell you guys about it. So I am hoping to upgrade this PC. It's a lovely old PC. It was a starter PC I bought. It's second hand, it's a cheapish one, and I just bought it as a star PC and the rest, but now I'm going to be definitely upgrading that, because it needs upgrading over time, and the newer games, what's coming out, needs a bit better graphics card to handle it all. And this is the turbine place? Okay. Oh, military checkpoint. Ah, oh, how I love them. Right, so, oh god, that's the Super Mutant Paradise place full of thingies. God damn, I'm going to be killed, aren't I? I'm getting shot. Nate, dog meat, deal with them. Your federation officer commands you. And I'm going to run off now. Oh, so dog meat follows me. Okay. We just retreat from battle and we hide. And now I'm getting shot. Who's shooting on me? So this one's decided to follow me. Come on, let's blast them. See? Your AK always can kill any creature you want. So here we go. 
Dun, dun, dun. Cows everywhere. Or oh, Brahmin, should I say. So, ah, here's the relay tower. So we should be safe now from pseudo immune getting attacked by everybody and anything. Who are these dudes? Are you friendly? Kai, come and see. Nope, Enclave Remnants. Great. Oh, these dudes aren't wearing Enclave uniforms. Hmm, that's a shame. I wish this dude had made some separate Enclave uniforms, like, um, like in Fallout 3. Recreate them, but have them all torn and ripped and dirty. That would be amazing to see, guys. I would like to see that. And also, if you're wondering why there isn't a build video today, that's because I'm running... Well, now I've finished it, I just need to put a few last bits in, and that'll be on Friday. And this is the music one, and Rich's notes will read them. So yeah, build video's going to be up Friday if you're wondering. Then I'm doing this one today quickly and then, well not quickish, it's about 40 plus minutes long. But still, I'm going to read this first I'll finish talking while I say. Oh man, oh man, I should have never helped Kai with that radio, now he's done for. I was in the bushes when they took him, one of them said they were taking him to the old police station bureau across the Seems like they want to interrogate him, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, now I can up can upload Silent Stripes, but Kai still has the tape with the other music game. He's so clever though, he may be can find a way out. I guess all I can do is just wait here and hope he comes back. Down it, I have to go to a police station now. But well, I was saying, yeah guys, this is today's video. Friday is definitely the build challenge video, the horror one. Then I need to do one more video after that for Monday. Then Tuesday the Xbox Bay is released for 76. I'm going to play it on Xbox first. Then, once that's all uploaded for Friday and the rest, you'll see some more of that. Then, also, I plan on doing it on PC, if my PC can handle it. If not, I'll continue the Xbox series. Right. Let's have a go. So when you go to the B thingy police station, the B L T E D F station. Okay, we'll head there next. But as you know guys, I'm not a fan of walking anywhere. So I'm going to cheat a little here. Ah uh, where is it? Nope. No my I've already gone past it probably twice, guys. Uh, nope. It's gotta be in Cambridge? Nope. It's got well, oh, I've just closed it, didn't mean to do that. Through the devil, B A D T F L Regional Centre. I've more like gone past it then. Because I'm not walking all the way down there again. Because I'll probably be shot trying to get off this hillside. So, nope, that's day and time I need. That's more I need to be. Well, uh, move to location. Yeah, this two channel is good, guys, but it's got a lot of sections. You know what I mean? Boston. Hold on. Uh, yep, it's there. I went past it twice. Yeah, but this G terminal is an amazing mod, guys. It helps you out a lot. But also, it does have a lot of sections, so you can easily get lost in it. Uh, you've just assaulted a Russian Federation officer, and you'll be sentenced to death according to the law. Oh, yeah. Smack. You have now been sentenced. Alright, let's go. This is the Russian Federation of Forces. Surrender now and we will not shoot. Totally sure. You were warned to surrender and have your arms in the air. Drop your weapon. Okay. All force you will you will all be exterminated for attacking an officer. Your only one chance is to lay down your arms and come out peacefully. These people do not like me at all. Nate, execute them, dog me, bite them. Any prisoners, put handcuffs on them and lock them up in a holding cell until later. Right. Ink in this good old safe. Ammunition, ammunition. We'll take all this good old stuff. Nothing beats the good old AK ammo though. AK and a Kanashnikov. Well, Kanashnikov and the Maktov. Best guns ever. Unless I use PR fine. Advance. People, advance up. Need advance. That's it. Take cover when we can. 
cover me while I steal some stuff off this person. Shoot. Band stock me. Let's go. Search and clear. Room clear. Everybody come behind us. Clear. Moving into room. Room clear. Office door. Magazine. Check. Ah, this is all the wall safe. Okay. Let's get into this PC. Let's see if I can break it while cheating. Ding. Ding. Yep, I broke it. That's good. Ooh. I should go in. That's good. Right, Nate, cover us. Why don't we just check all this? Ah, oh, so this is all about the captain. Police all the old police captain, the rest let's turn off the disengage lock. Alright. Evidence key, I think like that. Oh, are we being under attack again? Shoot! Oh, good job. Who was this? A ra radar rascalian. Ah uh, well, I'll teach that rascalian a lesson. Oh god, this person's eyes and nose black. Oh well he's been bludgeoned to death and handcuffed. Check the wall. Okay. I'm checking the wall, but there's nothing on the wall. Okay, mate, I'll just take your music collar tape and clear out the rest of this police station. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, bit blooded. Let's have a look. Hello? Next time, surrender. That's it, you. You just shot me. Well, even if I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, all that will really hurt. Anybody in the bathroom? Nope, some dead dude with some keys. We'll take that. Oh, this dude now wants to attack me. Okay. Shoot you. And you. There we go. Throws down here. Oh, we have captured children. We best free you children in a few minutes. Hello? Sir? So, ow, you just blasted me with two barrels of a shotgun. Look enough, I have my back plate on. Or my, or my armoured plating back would have been injured. Looks like guys, I'm going to have to get some new armour plating for, for my vests again. Front one's been blasted in today. Second one, back one, front one's all been shot in and the rest. Let's not sell. Children, you are free. Run free to the Commonwealth. And go home to your families. Job is done. So play the FM hall tape. Okay, we'll go up here and we'll play the hall tape. So police station is secure. We'll mark this location as secure, and we'll come back here with the ver birds and and restore the glorious new country to its rightful owners. Of us. Warning: corruption. Damn, it's corrupted. Find a password or hack it. Break encryption. Hacker free. Generate password list. Hacker one. Re record audio. Now let's just hack it. Did it. Instruction. Right. Take the thingy to the listening tower. Okay, we'll go to the listening tower then. Sounds easy enough. Now we don't have to worry about getting shot at again, do we? Let's have a look. Music. Dink. Okay, it's all the way up here. It's F722 sunk. O O S, -S C. 527 relay tower. Let's use cheat terminal and get all the way over there. Uh, cheat terminal junk, misc, yes. This is the one thing I'm going to miss in um, Fallout 76, guys, is my cheat terminal. Because this thing is a lifesaver. A lot of you may be thinking that it isn't very very good to use cheats in the mess, but this this one, guys, isn't really cheating. It's just helped me get place to place I haven't discovered yet. Or it kind of helps me revive myself because I never carry doctor's bags, surgery kit, stim packs, clean bandages, water, aspirin, anything like that. Because I do use the mod Agony and I've used that from day one. What overhauls the healing system. And I don't know why I use it because I never take any of the stuff with me. So if I break a leg or something, I have to use my cheat terminal to heal myself. And where is this terminal? Is it T? Ah, here we go. Which one was it again now? I've totally forgot. Okay, let's have a look on the map. Yeah, but yeah, guys, this is the lifesaver. Left 76, I'm going to have to get used to the new park per card system, run around like a lunatic, everything like that. So it should be fun. So here we are, loaded in. Yay. Whoa, my frames. Ah, and I've just been hitting the back. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. This is not good. Why did you load me into a giant monkey with a giant barrel and a bat? Bat, bat barrel, whatever you want to call it. 
So he's like, he's like King Kong. Oh, I'm gonna die on my mom's and health. I've got broken legs. Stimpak's not gonna heal this. Nukes are going off. Oh god. Russian Federation officer in distress. Request immediate assistant. Nate, to take cover and shoot. Dog meat, do what we do best. That's it, Nate. Return fire. Use your pit. Use your Mac Toff or your AK. Oh god, you're using your Mac Toff, really. In a situation where we've been ambushed by monkeys. Let's play the apes all over again. How did they manage to follow us into this universe? I don't know, Nate. Just um, shoot and hopefully we didn't bring any more cr creatures from the Planet of the Apes world we went to. Right. Is that it, Nate? Are we safe or are we alive? <laughs> Is anybody else going to attack us now? Uh, we need to get out of this universe, Nate. Seriously, we're gonna, we're gonna, we keep getting murdered for no reason. We're just trying to help the people reform to a decent society and rebuild America for them. And no, oh, they just want to attack us and shoot us. Ah, well, what can you do? I know. Hello, anybody around here? I hear movement. Yep, I thought I heard movement. Stay back. God damn, these rats are getting bigger. Tell me you get one. Nope. Oh, nope. No, no, no. Shoot. Come on. There we go. Okay. They're dead. Right. So a load of drunken beer bottles, a shotgun, everything like that. Radio turn off. Let's extend the satellite relays. Up they go. Come on, extend. And the trees have just grown through the satellite. Hopefully that's extended. Yes it has. Hoorah. Load FM fifty two. Transfer all files uploaded. Check the FM hall tape for instructions. Okay, I'll, I'll eject this hall tape and check it for instructions, apparently. Alright, let's have a look. Menu. Uh, Speed of the devil, check the FM. Okay. Uh, setting. Where is it? There you are, FM 52. That's the holotape we need, and we can check it. Instruction manual. The holotape can be used to play records and transmit audio as well as transcribe it to text. If you pose a wireless radio device, you can share it. Okay. Recording. Microphone. Error disk full. Okay. Transaction. Raw audio transcript. One. Voice pattern. Connection. Kai, we are trying to summon the Black Devil. Uh, get him to protect the farms. So... Uh, Illegible. Unknown. The man you're looking for is no, no here. He's a thief and the armor he wears rightfully belongs to the Enclave. Hey, you're uh, talking nonsense, pal. The Black Dog Guardian protects the farms from scum like you. Okay, this is a cool way of um, doing it. I like how he's laid out this bit of text. Unknown, your, your option is irritable. All we want to know is where you find him. We don't. You check a police station. I hear the works there by day. Clean toilets may you or take a real good look inside. Uh, Sergeant Hodge, do me a favour and help. Hand me a hammer. Oh god, a bit of advanced interrogation there. He's going to break his knuckles. Kneecaps possibly with a hammer. A bit harsh. Pulling voice recordings. Can I, can I hedge? Unknown, oh, you, you're wasting time. We know you have information on the Exo 2. Can I, can I, uh, forgive me. Give me a pen and pencil. I'll draw you a map. Eligible. Right, and cigarettes. I need a smoke. Helps with creative juices. Would you like something to drink as well? Maybe a massage officer. But he does excellent work with his fists. Oh, God. What What I need is that cigarette. God, he's got a friend beating him with his Jesus. Pulling voice records. Machine names. Device partner. What does this mean? Check the walls. Did you know him? <laughs> That's where the devil is in the detail. He's been to sense. Look, if you can't find him, maybe we should call him out. All you need to do is sing his song. Okay. Sing his song. I'm not singing, I can say that. My car is a terrible singer. Unknown. 
Still, tell us where the armor is. Oh, beautiful, from the spur of skies, from the amber waves of again. Not this again. Oh, purple mountain, just as above the fifth place. For God's sake, shut him up, will someone? Sh shut this man up. Merrick, I, Merrick, I, God, shut this guy up for him. Careful, torture may make his testimony illegible. I don't care, I just want to shut his goddamn mouth. So I'll probably pull his teeth out and shot him and execute him. Uh, name. And so we found the armor. It was hunched, but a base on what prisoner said. We checked the nearby police station. And it turns out, as you take under the Boston Police Russian site that mentions the description. Oh God, work, good work, Sergeant. I, I'm assuming it won't be a problem. Officer, the officers are working on it as we speak. What shall we do with the prisoner? Leave him if we're lucky. He'll bleed out to death before the raid assign him. So we're there, the enclave were in the police station first, before the raiders, and they tortured this man, pulled out his teeth, broke his arms, hands, kneecaps, and the rest with a hammer, smashed it, and then left him to bleed out and die. Jesus, the enclave is a very horrible force, aren't they? So where are we going, Nate? I thought our torture was bad. But no, apparently, um, the Russian Federation's torture is nothing like the enclave one. Hey, hey all we do is sit here in a chair and play the, play the national anthem. Or tell you to drink vodka. Normally get here talking two minutes, like, but oh well. Guess the enclave goes to the old fashioned way of brute force. Guess that works as well sometimes, but hey. And apparently, I can't walk over a tree, I have to jump over it. Okay, whatever, game. Right, is there anything else here? Oh god, my frames are now dropping like crazy. There we go. Ah, what's it doing now? I do not know. There. Oh my god, it's in there really. I know how you get in here, but it's one of these annoyingly hard areas to get into. See, there's a button on the inside of all of them doors. And if I remember correctly, yeah, you have to jump up on this digger somehow and get around that side. Hmm, can I do it again or are my skills not good enough anymore? <laughs> so I remember I used to be able to do this on the Xbox, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with this frame rate drop every few minutes. I'm on, nope, right, I'm going to TLC the command and then just fly around to get up there. So let's TLC it. Toggle collision thingy off. Do, do, do. I could just go through the wall right now, but I just want to go through around this way to show you. So basically you jump up on that container, you jump up here. Clicked, then once you're on here, you just jump through this little hole and you're in. So quite simple and easy, but I'm kind of lazy, so I decided to do it the hard way. Oh, and there's more rats now. Shoot the lock off the door so Nate can get in. Come on, Nate, dog meat, get your butts in here. Here, yeah, right, you can open the massive door for you, so it's a bit easier. There you go. Right, let's go into the utility tunnel. Nope, you want to just fight dog meat? Okay. Here we go, into the utility tunnels we go. Right, let's have a look. Uh, turn anybody down here. Open oh, door. Did I rush on the roof, okay. Ah, dog me out the way, I'm gonna end up shooting you. Yeah, I've just shot dog me a few times there, guys. Sorry, dog me, your bulletproof vest might have saved you a little. And Nick kills that one with a Mac Toff. Nice. Take the fusion core. Open the door. There's a giant oil slick all over the floor. Shoot that so that just burns away all the oil so I do not get incinerated. Right. Ah, ha. Here's this creature. Are you going? Are you gone? Yep, you're gone. That's good. Hmm. And there is this poor dead dude. What's quite interesting. Oh, and there's the thingies in there. Right. So you just turn on this radio. Okay, and it opens the door and powers the lights on. Speed of the devil. Okay, so we've got power on station so we can customize it there. Okay. Looks very well detailed. My PC is probably not doing the best job of making it look nice, but it does look a stunning piece of armor. We'll take the dude's dog tags and notes on the XL2. The XL2 power is a real piece of work designed to fit with the most standard mods. It looks a tad bulky due to the additional pa 
plating, but the consistency is ultra lightweight, so it'll be now be an issue. I've also added a few unique touches like my fan fantastic colors used on the T60 to work with this suit. The difference is the framework on the XR2 left me around with the playing. Okay. I bought ammo money. Okay. And there's a safe here. Ah, it requires a terminal unlock. Damn. Okay. Guess we're reading the terminal. Leaving the enclave. Okay. I was once a military officer, a patriot who wore the uniform of pride. I finished with honours at the academy, rose quickly through the ranks and joined the elite troop soldiers known as the Devil's Hand. At Central Forces Unit, we were given access to the new prototype crown jewel of which was the XL2 Para. With it, we cleansed the wasteland of mutants, ferals and unpure. We found all technology discovered on charred lands. We did it all. We were ruthless, effective, for what that I was distinguished, dishonoured, and yet I felt more disillusioned than anything else. We mocked the outside for being unclean but afraid. Each mission I was on we always felt dirty. Everything was done to maximise enclave resources and strength and position, with no collusion from those who paid the cost of their. Some were children, others were barely born, but if you ask me, why I declare it wasn't none of this. There was no crying child, no single event that made me turn. My belief is in what doing simply endured over time like calluses slowly peeling off the skin. I used to believe the enclave was here to protect the ide ideologies of the country we founded. Now I realise I couldn't be far from the truth. Okay. Becoming the devil. At first I wasn't sure if they come after me. The suit was valuable property one of only a handful of modified XL2 prototypes but the colonels were facing issues on number of fronts as it turns out President Eden, Eden's death provided an ample distraction from my defectants may there come a time when the rent would be due but for now I was left to roam the commonwealth by myself one day while scouting I came across an old hall tape from a local radio program the show was terrible and it was rightfully cancelled after a few episodes the devil was certain creature me in he was devil just like me somehow he didn't let the defect define him they turned him into a real period finally i was starred emily in some of his backstories i found a bunk ground on the old police police train station where plenty of resources i started listening to distress sickness on the radio and helping out sellers in the ra Settlers. In the radio program, the Black Dog could hear signs of America from thousands of miles away. I could do that, but what I can do is set up a radio sense to transmit the old enclave songs I have on holiday and hijack a few iPods to mention settlers remotely. So the sides have picked up on this, on the clues, and start playing the music when they need help. I've limited the station to only broadcast only a handful of songs at the moment. I have eight in total, but I'd rather not play them all. Some of them open old wounds. It, yeah, it's gonna get very repair and I feel sorry for your old for your old wounds. Right, I need to shut off the radio for my own sake. But when I, with the devil's hand, we used to play play them while in the throats of battle. When I became the black devil, the music put my mind where it needed to be. But now too many of the wrong memories get tripped, but by the melody. Besides, with my healing, along what it is, I can't be the devil anymore so I've decided to leave the suit here and hope someone will pick it up instead of me. To her who reads this now I only ask one fear to get this door open turn the radio back on. All I'm asking is for you to shut it back off by this time for good. The console Whew. Hey, catch my breath there. Has a kill switch that will short circuit the radio signal. Triggering that should also disable the electronic lock on the safe, just in case you need a reward to make it while. I'm asking you for a fear because I might still be out there living a common civilian life, and if I should pass by a radio, I'd rather not hear the music ever again. True. So, do I want to short circuit or not? I'm going to say I'm going to short circuit it because of a few things. A, I like the Enclave music, but. 8 songs, it's going to get very repetitive now and then, and I'm going to get sick of hearing it in the game eventually, and it's going to hardly ever be used by, I'm going to use power armor a lot. So I want to know what's in the safe, so let's just open up the safe and think it. But if you're on PC guys, you could just restore the radio signal and use console commands to unlock the safe. So there's ammo, pistol, generator loot, and XO1 devils and foul. So a unique modification for the power armor. That's pretty cool. 
I'm glad I did that. But like I said, guys, if you're on PC, you can easily just click yes, restore it, and just unlock the thingy by using by clicking on it and typing in unlock. Oh, on, oh god, there's on clip spawning. Nate, help! I do not have enough help. Like these, I may end up dying, Nate. Assistance. Oh, Nate's gone down. Great. Dog meat. Are you coming behind me? Nope. Shoot. Yep, she got me. Dog meat. Nate, you're useless. So at least now I know what I need to do, guys. I'm just going to run back down there. Read all the... T not reread the tales. Just quickly skip through the terminals. Grab... Jump into the power armor suit. Gun everybody down. Modify it. And show you what it looks like. Right, so let's run all the way back down here. Kill all these people. Rad roaches. Oh, yeah. Rad roaches. Shoot and kill. Yep. Come on. Terminate the rad roaches. There we go. Done. Right, ah, right, more rats already on here. Right, so let's run all the way down here. Go past this dude, switch on that. Switch the radio back off. Waiting on this terminal, shooting in the dark. Ah. Right, you click this. Da 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 da, skip all this, because now we know what's happening. Short circuit. We'll grab the stuff out of the safe quickly. Dink, dink. And then we'll jump in the suit. Come on, get me in the suit. Drag me out of my way. I want in the suit so I'm going to be safe and sound and nobody can kill me. Hopefully. So that's it, I guess. Drag me, run, shoot. Alright, I'll grab that. Again, the note. Yep. Now these dudes cannot touch me because I'm wearing advanced power arm. I like how half of them just run out of the way. Just to avoid me. Right, I might deal with this person over here. Dead. Fusion calls. I wish they were wearing ra tattered, knackered, enclave armor, clothing, you know. Like they were in Fallout 3. That would make it a really good mod. Cool. So let's have a look at the bodies then, just to make sure there's nothing on the bodies I'm missing. Uh, oh, there's a journal here, so we'll read that in a minute. So, uh, so this is the woman who tortured the people, or the poor bloke, uh, and there's the tattoo book. Oh, Nate, just leave them. We don't want to fight them right now. Over there. I cannot be bothered to fight them. Nate, just leave them, and they'll go away, and they won't bother us. So let's have a look at this note. Make sure I didn't miss anything in this note. Nope, that's... Miscellaneous. I need this. Alright, let's have a look. Try as we might, we can't seem to bypass the school lot. The radio seems to be the key, but it broadcasts always stack. Turns turn to frequency has no effect. As a result of our failure, the lieutenant sent a few officers back to the tower to con the area, leaving the rest of us to us absorb his rage. He's been extremely temperamental as of of lately. It's Possibly he's already infected. To be fair, maintaining any semblance of purity is difficult in this faith. If the tenant is any entirely the cost of turning back and f through this gate. Nevertheless, the the safety of the base is justified. Having the X or two in possession will help us maintain supply counts as we attempt to retrieve the contact with the enclave. In any event, if we fail to uncover any relevant information we may be able to to recommend to drill our way in. Okay, so I just try and drill that way in for reinforced concrete. Sure, that sounds like it's gonna work. Yep. Okay. So where's that XO2 one? Just to make sure. Notes on the XO2. I've just gone past that now. Yes, I have. Where is it? Do 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 do. Ah, oh, there it is. Just make sure I missed it. Oh yeah, I did miss sunk. Next, we are having the strip the base mod. You can fury the bad guys and still have room for mechanical pump. Okay, so it's just about about modifying the power armor. Right. Nothing. Nothing. I may have to deal with you. No, you're gone. So that's good. Right. So you guys can just click on the terminal and just type in unlock and it's going to unlock it for me. Just so I don't have to mess around trying to unlock this just, to, just in case this super mute. Just in case we've got to go down here in a few minutes. Right, where are you? Yeah, you're dead. So, right. Let's see if I can modify this armor. 
Right. Up and out we go. Oh great, I've got to kill the other ghouls. Right, down the tunnel we're going here quickly to kill these ghouls, then I'll modify it and show you what it looks like, guys. Hello, ghoulies. Hello, you're a ghoul. Is that it? Nope, there's one more apparently. Ah, ghouls. Who likes them? Dink. Oh god. Don't want that crash. Hey, he's still trying to get back up. Damn, man. Alright, let's modify this now then. Right, XO2 helmet. Let's change that to a Mark V. Some armor. Let's get. Ooh. XO2 on cliff so you get all the different paint jobs if you buy any. So if you buy paint jobs off the creation kit, they do work in this if you want to. Standard helmet lighting. Oh, I see some of the modifications. I know I'll re put them on. Standard headlight. Helmet lighting. What's that do? Let's click it. Oh, great, that's a mod. Don't worry, guys, I'll fix that later. Let's change my helmet to the Raider one. So if I click Standardize, it changes it to the Raider Power Armor. Right. I know what's done that. That's the armor smithing modification, I think, guys. There will be a mod out on Nexus to fix this. Lucky enough, I'm just going to fix that later on. So I'll have the helmet and the rest fixed again. Because I do want to use this one in other videos, hopefully. So I'll fix that up later. Because I know I can. So, if you guys are using uh, on PC, if you do have this one, you go, you have any armor smithing mods or anything like that, guys, I may try and change it to um, Raider Power Armor. So, just be advised on that one, guys. I'm not sure if it's going to do it with all of them, but just be careful when you do. Or save it before you do it, not like what I did. So, I will have this fixed, possibly for a few future times. Let's have a look. XO2 EMP shielding. Standard Tesla brace. Yeah, let's put the Tesla on. Uh, Alright, that's the helmet. I can't fix that right now. Let's Tesla. Colour that to make it look like the orange colour. Uh, yep, I like the orangey, like copper colour. I actually do like it, guys, for some strange reason. But it looks good. Right, XO2 EMP shielding. Not great. Devil's Inferno, yeah. Let's put that one on. Gives you a bit of a resistance to things like that. Shame I can't fix the helmet like, so I would want the helmet back to normal, but... Yeah, looks like anything I do isn't going to fix it, so that's a shame, but... Oh, well. I'll get that fixed for the next one, guys. Definitely. Well, not for the build video, probably for the video after that. Let's have a look. Fusion coils. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. Right, let's just take the helmet off. Yeah, see, that's what it's supposed to look like, but now it looks like a radar helmet. So, yep, definitely have to definitely put that on my note list to find a mod to fix that. Or I'll just reload the safe before this and just re -gra grab it again in my own time. Because that's think what I'll do next. But first off, let me just. Yeah, so this suit looks pretty good. Wish the helmet was the correct one, but oh well. I'll just take my helmet off whenever I find it. Uh, nope. Helmet, there we go. So yeah, guys. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, guys. I would recommend getting this mod. It's a quite a good one. It's a bit. It's about seven pound our money in the UK, so it's a bit expensive, but it's got a good quest line. Great armor, it looks good, tells the story of the Enclave and the rest. I would say, yeah, get it if you want a nicer one. But until, but if you have any questions, guys, put them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them best my way I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.